Let's see how we can take up based on these questions. So first we take up questions based on f of x of e raised to x minus 1 by x as x tends to 0. For example, here you have a situation. You have So you have e raised to 2x minus 1 by x. Limit of this particular function has to be found out as x tends to 0. Now, if you remember the formula, e has been raised to a particular term which contains x. The denominator also has to be raised to, should be the same thing as x, this particular term over here. So, it's x. We need 2x. So, what do we do? We multiply by 2. And hence, this becomes 2 times limit as x tends to 0 of e raised to 2x minus 1 by 2x which will be 2 into log e, log e to the base e, which will be 2 into 1, which is 2. And hence, we get it as 2. Simple example to illustrate this rule. Yes, we do have it as 2. Okay. Here, we have again e raised to x squared minus 1 by x squared. This is direct substitution e raised to x square minus 1 divided by x square. So, it is e raised to some term, it is divided by the same term. So, e raised to x square minus 1 by x square. This will turn out to be log e to the base e which is 1. The answer for this is, so limit which is e raised to 1. And hence, remember if you substitute x as 0, you will end up getting the denominator as something extremely indeterminate. indeterminate. Hence, we can't do this substitution by 0 and obtain the limit in this case. But you have, you can take the aid of this formula. And hence, we get it as 1. Alright. Okay. Then we have limit as of e raised to minus x minus e raised to minus 1 divided by x minus 1 as x tends to 1 is equal to what among these? It's been told. Right. So, we have e raised to minus x minus e raised to minus 1 upon x minus 1. This can be now written as 1 upon e raised to x minus 1 upon e upon x minus 1. Now the numerator denominator LCM for this turns out to be e raised to x. e raised to x by e raised to x is 1. e raised to x upon e is e raised to x minus 1 the whole upon x minus 1. Now if you see whatever has been raised to e the number e has been raised to a particular term containing x, the denominator is also the same. So, what we need to do next is, this can be written as 1 minus e raised to x minus 1 upon x minus 1 into 1 by x. But as per our formula, it has to be e raised to x minus 1 minus 1. So, <coughs> it will be, hence we take out minus 1 common and hence you get e raised to x minus 1 minus 1 upon x minus 1 into 1 upon e raised to x. So, limit as x tends to, hmm. so now if you see, if, now we get it that way. Now, if x minus, x tends to 1, which means that if you subtract 1 on both sides of this, x minus 1 will tend to 0. So, if x tends to 1, x minus 1 tends to 0. So, now this will now become limit as x minus 1 tends to 0 minus of e raised to x minus 1 upon x minus 1. This can be written as limit as x tends to 1, 1 upon e raised to x. x minus 1 tends to 0 or x tends to 1 both mean the same thing. Now, this one is nothing but minus log e into 1 by e raised to 1. Minus log e is minus 1 into 1 by e which is minus 1 upon e and hence 
we get it as minus 1 by. So basically what we have done is that one new concept we have used is that as you change now see whatever has been raised e has been raised to a particular number that particular term has to approach 0. We have been given that x is approaching 1 which means that x minus 1 is approaching 0. Hence we get it as e raised to x minus 1 minus 1 upon x minus 1. And hence we get to that minus 1 by e. Alright, we get that. Okay. <clears throat> now we have a situation 2 into e raised to 1 by x minus 3x divided by e raised to 1 by x plus x is equal to what? There are various ways of doing it. One among them is this. Now <clears throat> we can write this as 2 e raised to 1 by x minus 2 minus 3x. Why do we do that? Plus through. So that we can take e raised to 1 by x upon e raised to 1 by x minus 1 plus 1 plus x. Right, so we get it accordingly this. Why do we do that? So that we can uh, take common terms outside. So now we can take this as 2 into e raised to 1 by x minus 2 minus 3x plus 2 divided by e raised to 1 by x minus 1 plus 1 plus x. Now this does minus 1 this is I am sorry I take out 2 common. So what have we done we have subtracted 2 and added 2 why because the coefficient of e raised to 1 by x is 2. Now we need 1, 1 by x over here too. So we write it as divided by 1 by x into 2 e raised to 1 by x minus 1 upon 1 by x because you multiply it numerator and denominator by 1 by x. This will remain as it is upon same way here you multiply and divide by 1 by x by 1 by x plus 1 plus x. Now this is nothing but 1 by x into this turns out to be 2 log e which will be 2 into 1 minus 3x plus 2. Similarly, this will turn out to be 1 by x into log e, which will turn out to be just 1 minus plus 1 plus x. So, this is how you get. Now, we can simplify this taking x. So, you get 2 minus 3x square plus 2x upon x divided by 1 plus x plus x square divided by x. This gets cancelled. Now the expression has become this. Now we need to find limit as x tends to 0. which will be 2 minus 3 into 0 square plus 2 into 0 upon 1 plus 0 plus 0 square which will be 2 upon 1 that is 2. So you get this as <clears throat> Hence, what we have done in this case, a new concept is we have added and subtracted something so that you get a term which satisfies the formula limit of e raised to x minus 1 upon x as x tends to 0 is log e or 1. So, since we have we need 2 e raised to x minus 1, we need to add and subtract minus 2, which 2 which is a coefficient of this. And then you the first term you multiply and divide by 1 by x. Accordingly, the term becomes 2. Hence, this is how we can calculate in this particular case. Right. Okay. Now, we will be taking up a few questions based on this particular formula that f of x is a raised to x minus 1 upon x, which will turn out to be log a to the base e. Right? The same as the previous one. The previous one was e raised to x minus 1 by x and you got it as log e to the base e which was 1 but this is log a to the base e which is not actually 1. 
okay for example here limit of 3 raised to x minus 1 by x is straightforward question here a is equal to 3 so it should be log a is what is required so log a is nothing but log 3 here a is 3 log 3 to the base e so this is our correct answer all right okay now you have 5 raised to x plus 3 raised to x minus 2 by x what will be equal to let's see this so this will be 5 raised to x now this minus plus 3 raised to x minus 2 can be written as minus 1 minus 1 the whole raised to x as x tends to 0 this can be written as 5 raised to x minus 1 upon x plus 3 raised to x minus 1 upon x and this is limit as x tends to so this will turn out to be log 5 to the base e plus log 3 to the base e which will turn out to be log 15 to 5 log 5 log a plus log b is nothing but log a b so this will be log Okay, we can write one more step log 5 into 3 to the base e that is log 15 to the base e so that is this one so this is how sometimes you may have to split up the minus 2 and distribute it so that we get it will come across more such questions further furthermore okay <clears throat> here we have a situation 10 raised to x minus 5 raised to x minus 2 raised to x plus 1 the whole divided by x square is equal to what okay now if you see this 10 raised to x can be written as 2 raised to x into 5 raised to x minus 5 raised to x minus 2 raised to x plus 1 the whole upon x square. In the first two terms we can take out 5 raised to x common and you get 2 raised to x minus 1. Minus 1 into 2 raised to x minus 1 divided by x square. This will turn out to be 2 raised to x minus 1 into 5 raised to x minus 1. The x square can be written as x and you have x also. So it is basically, now you need to find the limit of this as x tends to 0. Now here if you see, a is 2 in this case, a is 5. So this will turn out to be log 2 to the base e into log 5 to the base e. Because as per limit of a raised to x minus 1 by x is log a to the base e and this will be log 5 to the base e, it's in 2. So it's log 2 into log 5. This is going to be our right answer. Log 2 to the base e into log 5 to the base e. Alright. So this is how we take up this kind of a question that is splitting up and uh, taking out common factors. So, what do we have next? So, here we have 4 raised to x plus 1 minus 4 divided by 2x. Now, here we can write this as 4 raised to x into 4 minus 4 upon 2x. So, we can take out 4 common factor. We get 4 raised to x minus 1 upon 2 into x. So, this will eventually be equal to 2 into limit as x tends to 0 4 raised to x minus 1 upon x which will turn out to be 2 times log 4 to the base e so it's going to be 2 log 4 to the base e so Hence, does not exist, exists and is equal to 4, exists and is equal to 4 log 
2 to the base e. So now does it vary? Let's see whether we can simplify this further. Now this can be written as 2 times log maybe 2 square to the base e which will turn out to be 2 into 2 log 2 to the base e which will be eventually 4 log 2 to the base e. So you get 4 log 2 to the base e exists and is equal to 4 log 2 to the base e. So this is our right answer. So we get that. Yes, it's true. Furthermore, we have the value of the limit u raised to x plus v raised to x plus w raised to x minus 3 divided by x. Now here this can be written as u raised to x minus 3 can be written as minus 1 plus v raised to x 1 more minus 1 plus w raised to x minus 1. So this 3 has been split up divided by x. So this can be written as x upon x upon x. And this would be limit as x tends to 0 plus limit as x tends to 0 plus limit as x tends to 0. This will turn out to be log u plus log v plus log w, which is nothing but log u v w to the base e. So among these, it is going to be log u v w. Right? Yes, we do have it that way.